Hello everyone, today we will know how to insert data to Firebase. So let's get started. First of all, what we have to do, we have to go to Firebase, search on firebase.google.com. All right. And here click on Google to console. Here click add project and uh, give any name you want. Let me give database a name database. All right. Uh, here part account for Firebase. Project has been created uh, on Firebase here. There are two ways to add in, uh, Firebase to Android Studio. I have already told in the last video if you have not watched it, please watch that first. So I will do it using Firebase Assistant here. Click on uh, Tools. Clear here, click on Firebase. And this assistant, click on this assistant here. This one assistant here. And here, click on this uh, real time database. Get started with the real time database. And connect to Firebase here. Click on build here. There it's build it. And uh, let me click again. Connect to Firebase. And here it is. Now, here it is in the Firebase. So here uh, select the data project which you want to add. So kind of database and here click on connect. Uh, and you can see here we are under the studio project is connected to Firebase Android Studio. And here now this is done and uh, click on this add a real time database. It uh, add some add dependencies. Now here it shows connected and dependencies set up correctly. All right. Now where it is uh, set it first here. Look, this is added here, and second build uh, This one line is added, and here this one line database. And here this line is added. All right. Now we can also edit manually, but uh, this is perfect. Okay. Now here go to XML. And let me add here, change it to linear layout. Right here. So here, do one thing. Uh, orient, make orientation to vertical. Orientation vertical. And here, gravity. Gravity is used to make it center. So center. All right, and here. Create edit text, grab content. Oh, sorry, edge parent, grab content, All right? Close it and give a hint. And uh, let me give a name here. All right, uh, also assign an ID, ID, name. Okay, and here uh, add. Uh, Padding start. Uh, let me add 20 dp and uh, as well as padding end 20 dp. All right. And now look here, the padding is added and uh, co copy it and paste it again and again. All right. I have pasted uh, for it for five times. So change this one to username. Username and here also username and this one to email change it also to email and this one to phone number change it to phone number and this one to password and also change this to password all right this is done and uh, now what you have to do, uh, also add one thing here in this build types here, build feature, build features and here uh, enable view binding, view binding enable to true. All right, uh, click on sync now. If you don't know about this view binding, so uh, I have also created a video on view binding, please uh, watch that before. So here, what to private? 
all right latinate variable main binding this activity main binding and here main binding activity main binding out in flat layout in flatter and here make it main binding that root all right now what you have can do here just uh, uh, and now let me add something to Firebase here. Uh, click here, real time database, and create database here. And uh, use this for now start a test mode. It is uh, uh, available. This test mode is true, both are these are true, and this is the log mode in which uh, no one can edit and uh, write something. But uh, we are now just testing, so you can uh, make it uh, true. All right, you can also change the truths now. Here, now, here, if I want to add something here, so what I would do before this do one thing, uh, variable Firebase database. Uh, extend here extend it with firebase database all right and uh, here firebase reference firebase reference I just make it reference all right oh sorry database reference this one here all right, and also initialize these are uh, Firebase database equal to Firebase database dot get instance, and here uh, reference Firebase database dot get reference. Now this is all right. If this this is fine for now, uh, we, if you want to add something here, so let. Uh, we uh, also use one button here with below this button rep content rep content text sign up and also I sign id sign up so here main binding dot sign up dot set on click listener all right <clears throat> now we're uh, here just uh, do something that uh, uh, reference reference dot set value and uh, let me assign a value just uh, database is inserted all right then let me run this now here you can see <coughs> before clicking sign up button this is null here but when i uh, click on this sign up here look database is inserted this is added but i don't want to just add this so for that, uh, let me create one data class here, uh, user helper, helper, data class uh, here, give a name, variable, name, extend string, and uh, then username, again and again. Here, username. This one here, uh, email, phone number. All right, and uh, one, one more here, password. Password. Remove this. All right, this is added. So five variables are added, and now here, let me create an object. Uh, 
user help user equal to user helper and uh, here for name name for name let me create a uh, uh, name it detects here where variable name so main binding dot name dot text dot to string it would convert this to string here username and this one to email this one to phone number this one to password and also ch change this username and this one email this one to phone number as well as this one password <clears throat> all right so pass these here whatever we would get from this it detects it would directly in, get inserted username and here email and here phone number and password all right change this to value all right this is done and uh, instead of this set value i would insert here this user here and uh, i would also create one child here so for that uh, i reference that uh, child and from the name of phone number we would uh, know about this using phone number so i would uh, use okay so now let me run the app here or uh, i would type one thing here i have forgot to use here user let me use user here so i would uh, get it would get below the user now here uh, app, let me pass the on username on and email uh, rehan um, at the red email dot com phone number one two three four five six and uh, password let me pass nine eight six seven six five all right now when i click on sign up here here look below the user user is generated where where it is generated here but and below this user here this is generated where i have passed this in the phone number so this is generated in the phone number here look this phone number and this are same and all these are generated here all right and now let me change something a value here here and uh, also change phone number so when i sign up here look another user is created here okay with the same changes all right this was all about how to add data to firebase uh, uh, using real time database and uh, i hope uh, and uh, this video was helpful and if you find this helpful so please hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel thank you